Hello and welcome back to uh, the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm fairly sure I haven't. This is the 5 year anniversary edition. Which means I got both of the main DLCs. So, still have to remember to jump. That's, uh, as you can see on the compass down the bottom. As an indication of a dungeon kind of thing, so there's uh, different icons uh, signifying different things. So there's also campfires that usually indicate there are people around. Hmm. Expect any NPC you meet solo to most likely be hostile. It's a bit of a pain, but uh, some popping. Hmm. I'm just going into a quick save. Yeah. What is that? I'm curious. An apple. Hmm. Versity all food items, um, if not all food items, in this game are, uh, are chemical ingredients. So it's worth picking up stuff. Hmm. There's a lot of beer here. An alcoholic or something. I don't know. I'm not going to go in just yet. I just want to explore a bit. By the way, in case you don't know, if you uh, when you are ready to level up you need to rest to uh, apply your level up. It's going to be a bit of a pain. but Anyway, there's something else we can go and look at. We can check the map here, yeah, not that. The map, the world map. So, Okay. There's some stables. Hmm. Well, it might seem a bit dull to uh, run around here like an idiot uh, when you have a location discovered. You can fast travel to it. You have certain locations known from the beginning, but far from every thing. I've heard a ru I've heard rumor I've heard a rumor that a strange doorway has appeared on a small small island in the deep in the bay. I should investigate. If I'm not mistaken, that is the trigger to the Shivering Isles um, DLC, which I do not want to deal with right now. So, someone to speak to. My name is Ida Otis, and I'd like to talk about Mother Mara. So you have different subjects, rumors, the city, all sorts of things. Mara's blessing on you and on all her children. Speak to her at the Temple of the One. Ask Mother Mara. She will shower your heart with love. Rumors. The feedback isn't fancy, but it fills you up. So, to show off... I'm listening. Needs attempt to persuade you must admire both joke and course, curse, whatever it's called, course. I'm not necessarily sure. Each of these actions raises or lowers the NPC's disposition. Don't take too long because the NPC's disposition is steadily falling. As you highlight each possible action, the NPC's face shows his reaction to it. He will love, like, dislike, or hate each action. His disposition goes up if you select a loved or liked action and goes down if you select a disliked or hated action. The potential gain or loss for each action is based on your speech craft and how full the veg is. Try to select fuller veggies when they are aligned with actions the NPC likes. 
try to select less full values when they are aligned with actions he doesn't like. So I do not entirely sure I'm going to do this because I will probably fail horribly. I'm, I'm going to show it off once. If I lose favor with her, who cares? Then she turns out to be important later on. Haha. <laughs> Never mind. When you click start, you will get a small bar, a slightly larger bar, a medium sized bar, and a full bar, a full wedge kind of thing. Right? They will rotate when you select each thing. You can't see ahead of time how it will affect them. So let's find out by doing start. She doesn't like being admired. Um, she finds jokes somewhat okay. So basically she likes boasting and she likes jokes. She couldn't give herself about being admired, so don't waste your flattery on me. What a great story. You can't scare me. That's really funny. So overall game of one. But that's how it works and that's the more people like you, especially um traders the more you can apply your uh, mercantile skill in order to haggle um, if their skill is much higher than your skill you are stopped dead but it's always beneficial to get people to like you if they are important to your quest so I'm not saying it's crucial or anything or you can do without it but there will be certain persuasion uh, challenges so, if nothing else, you can always use a bribe. Be seen. Most likely. I just want to show it off, so... Hmm... Where are the stables? Where are the stables, he says, and looks straight at them. What are you doing here? You're sleeping. Yeah, can't be bothered. Just for reference, by the way, while I do intend to do the the thieves guild quest line, and I may do the. Dark Brotherhood questline. I don't intend to go around and seal stuff left, right and center. That's not the purpose of this character. He's uh, The philosophy behind him is that he's a sniper. Um, attempting to do one-shot kills from the stealth. That is the main concept. The fact that he's got quite good thieving skills doesn't mean that I'm going to steal everything that's not nailed to the ground. Um, Where is Ryan? Oh, we received the blessing. Where is it we can see that? That's our abilities. Um, That's from the birth sign. That's in build. Uh, that's in build. I say the raise bonus. So we got forty-five intelligence, forty-five magicka. Hooray! And it lasts. I think it's ten minutes, something like that. I'm not entirely sure. But. But anyway, when you go around stealing left, right and center, um, if you get nicked by the guards and the guards are automatically 10 levels higher than you, uh, some guards are more than that, uh, fighting them is not an option basically because the more you fight them, the worse it gets because you suddenly get a much higher bounty on you, which is not beneficial. Hmm, probably been detected. Yes, I have been detected. There you go. Have an arrow. Have one more. And another one. Hi. 
So anything that's uh, considered to be stolen? No, you can see the arrow sticking through, but I can't pick it up. Oh, nice. Hmm. Never mind, doesn't matter. Um, anything that's marked as stolen will be taken from you. And that means you have to go to and find the evidence chest and break that open to get your loot again. And you have to break out of prison or serve your sentence. Uh, I don't want to spend time worrying about those details in this game, so... When I get the quest from... Oops, there's a wolf. Like an arrow to her face, too. Three arrows gone, missing. Hmm. Wolves usually operate in packs, so I can half expect one more. I don't know. But the thief girl's quest line will require me to steal, and I will, of course, do that if I got a quest to do it. But outside of that, I'm not necessarily going to make myself. Mr. Unpopular by stealing. Ingredients for alchemy. Hmm. Your ability to um, pick up ingredients is based on your alchemy skill. So the higher your alchemy skill is, the higher chance you have to actually successfully pick something up. Hmm, what will this do? I'm just going to, because uh, I'm a coward. Nah, don't care about that. Just wonder if that's marked. Keep forgetting this is a control, um, control, a console inspired game. Uh, it's meant for consoles as well, so all controls basically. Um, are set up to uh, make it easier for people with controllers. So. That's another thing I can show off quickly. Uh, that's all your items, that's weapons, that's armor, that's miscellaneous, and that's usables if I'm not mistaken. Or oh, that's miscellaneous, and that's um, ingredients and potions. As you can see, because of our rank and alchemy, we can see two out of four effects from the different things we pick up. You need to combine two with the same positive or negative effect to make a potion. For the moment we only have a Mordhan pestle, but there are other um, equipment pieces available that will strengthen the benefits or reduce the side effects and empower them and all sorts of things. So it's, it's worth getting a full alchemy set, but if I'm not mistaken, some of those components in the alchemy set are quite heavy. We haven't got much strength, so it's a bit of a pain. But um, alchemy, especially if you play with the the birth sign called Atonor, um, then alchemy is super critical. I would argue the Atonor it's 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 a mage sign or magician sign, caster sign, whatever people argue. Um, it gives you plus 150 to your maximum magicka, as it's called in this game. 
but it also prevents you from regenerating mana or magicka or whatever call it what you want and it is super crippling true but first and foremost if you want to be a, uh, a spellcaster what's going to limit you is your maximum I'll just call it mana because that's what it is um, the maximum mana is going to be what limits your ability to cast spells outside of skills of course but uh, when you start making your own spells you can make some super powerful ones but your maximum mana is what caps you at increasing the power of your spells so as if you want to be a caster you definitely want a burst sign that increases your magicka or mana unfortunately uh, except for the boy one uh, the mage burst sign the two others come with huge detriments one of them gives you a massive uh, vulnerability to fire which is not super pleasant and the other one, the Atronog, as I said, it gives you 150 to your maximum mana but you can't regenerate mana so you have two sources of destroying mana that is by using potions, which you can make using alchemy, which is a good idea or you can absorb spells a certain amount of the power you absorb will be converted to your mana and that's one benefit that a lot of people seem to overlook because I found that it is if you play a character that's not super concerned about magic um, I'm just wandering around here a bit I want to go the other way I think or should I go to the Imperial City let's just go to the Imperial City quickly um, I mean I will get there later Market District, why not some of, some of the worst stuff you can come up against in uh, this game is actually enemy spellcasters and when you have the Autonox or Atronox sign just waiting for the shops to open Wait. Um, having a chance to absorb, absorb you even. Will help an old beggar. I will. What is it, citizen? I'm so hungry. Have a coin, beggar. Thank you, kind sir. We're all talking about the emperor's murder. We have no emperor and no heir. That's never happened before. I suppose we should all be worried. Yep, probably should. Blessings of Julianus upon ye. I've always been puzzled by the fact that they talk in one voice at a distance and then you communicate with them and then the voice changes. Hmm, interesting. Whoops. Wanted poster. The Grey Fox, wonderful theft, embezzlement, forgery, pickpocketing, counterfeiting, burglary, and conspiracy to commit theft, grant, larceny, tax evasion, slander, fraud, perfidy, and impertinence. Description wears a great cloak that conceals his appearance. Presumed male and Colovian. Height between five and six feet. Normal weight, hair and eye colour unknown. Any citizen with information should contact the Imperial Watch. What Captain Hieronymus Lex? He will be important for the thief guild quest line. Right. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, the Atonal by giving you the ability to absorb spells. It is such a powerful m defensive mechanic. The one guy completed the main story with um, at level 7. There's certain fights in the main quest where you get absolutely hammered with spells. And because of course he was uh, a hand-to-hand -hand expert and therefore um, beneficial to increase his speed stat. I was actually ba basically laughing with those enemies and ran into their faces and then punched them and daylight out of them. It doesn't give you full absorb, but then you 
do enough of the major skill quest line that you can gain access to the enchantment table then you get some equipment enchanted and then you get a bit more absorption enchanted onto your equipment and then suddenly your absorption level is quite high and you become virtually immune to magic. Not only do you become virtually immune to magic, you throw the power back in their own faces. I so love the sorcerer class in um, Arena because they had that mechanic built in. They were part of the class, they had no mana regeneration. The only way they could regenerate mana was to get hit by spells. And there was nothing better than getting hit by well, having ghosts attempt to hit you with certain spells and then fire a max power fireball back in their faces. It was super cool. And that's why I fell in love with that ability, even though most people will probably consider it to be hammering. If you are playing a caster, mainly the Atronarch is horribly gimping you. I, it, it, unless you want to make a lot of mana potions, it can be absolutely horrible. But, recording break time, so uh, back in a bit. Go ahead. 